guys, hope you're doing it very well. In today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to my subscribers' first tattoos and their newest tattoos. And the reason why I wanna do something like this is because I wanna see how my subscribers have sort of progressed in their tattoo journey or story, or to see if they've always been getting good tattoos, or to see like the variations of tattoos they've been getting. So sometimes someone's first tattoo will be like a black work one, and then they'll go on into like realism or traditional. I just wanted to see like people's beginning and ending or where they're at now in their tattoo journey. So let's quickly talk about mine before we delve in into other people's. My first tattoo was done in 2007, so it's officially 13 years old now, around about, well, just under 13 years old. I got it in the summer of 2007. It's literally like the worst tattoo. I've mentioned it a few times. It's just a black work star. It, it looks like a butthole, honestly. It was never well done. It just, it doesn't look good. But I will never cover it up because it's my first tattoo and it's literally the tattoo that started it all. And luckily it's just a small little star on my wrist. Uh, it's just here. I don't know if you'll ever be able to see it because it's so small and I hope you don't. Um, but yeah, that's that. And then my newest tattoo that I got recently was from Emma Arietti. She did two in one day, but we'll just talk about the eyeball tattoo because I love it so, so much. It's not even funny. Like I, it's like close to my like favorite one. I don't know why. I just really, really love it. I feel like it was really well done. The saturation is great. The line work is great. And Emma always kills it anyway. But let's get on with it. This could be interesting. If you guys are into this video, let me know. And I can definitely do a lot more of this. The post that I put out on my Facebook group to get like submissions and stuff is a full of submissions like absolutely full so i've got like so many videos worth of content in this thread so let me know if you want to see more i just i just think it'll be interesting honestly um okay so i'm just scrolling through most of you guys have oh my good god i've just seen one of my moderators like first and latest uh, this is from alex this is gorgeous i love her tiger so much i just saw it i was like whoa <laughs> Um, but Alex said the first is a semicolon everyone knows what it stands for nowadays and the latest one is my tiger piece it's a visual representation of my username on everything which is tiger s rose and it means so much to me she said the first is from 2016 and the latest is in 2019 and this is what I meant about like the comparison like some people do start off small with something really small and meaningful and then they just go all out and they get like this big colorful piece and let me tell you, that tiger is everything. Like, just look at the colors on that. It's insane to me. This is wild, amazing. So the next one I wanna talk about is from Frida, and she said the first one, which is the flowers, was done in 2007. Oh, another 2007. Latest one done in November 2019. I still love my first tattoo. And I find this one kind of interesting because she's stuck with the color. I mean, she may have got more tattoos since then and in between and what have you. But what I find interesting is like her first tattoo was like colorful in the same kind of style as her newest one. So she's kind of kept that love for the color sort of traditional tattoos which I love also I'm all about that oh okay this is an amazing first tattoo so this is from Hayley and she said 2016 versus 2020 first one was hand drawn for me second one was a random one out of a gumball machine I love that that is so cool that as a first tattoo wow just wow well done you i'm proud of you and we we can't go wrong with a gumball machine tattoo i have still not done that i want to do it so so badly but i would 100 percent do that in my life and it's such a cute one as well she got lucky with that because i've seen some that are completely <laughs> random and to be honest that makes it you know fun but then a part of me is like oh but i would actually want something i really like but then a part of me would want something fun just to add to the story of a gumball machine but either way, both amazing tattoos. Oh, this is interesting. So Elizabeth here had a cover up of her first tattoo, which I guess is now her most recent tattoo. So that's kind of interesting how her oldest tattoo and her first tattoo has now become her newest tattoo because she's had a cover up of it. So she said, my latest is a cover up of my first. The kite on the left was done in 2008. The dragon cover up was finished this year. I wish I had better pictures, but it's hard to get one on my own arm. 
trust me, I know. I freaking know. I'd had to send pictures of my black work arm to Heidi because she wanted to know where we had got up to since our last, like, on our last session. And I was just like, there's no way I can do this. I had to get Tom, my boyfriend, to do it because I just know I'm awful at taking pictures of my own arm. And then, like, when I come home and I was home alone, <laughs> she wanted a picture of, like, my chest area because it goes up on... No, wrong side. Fuck's... No, is that the right side? It is the right side. <laughs> Um, but she wanted pictures of like where we were here because I said I kind of wanted to go up onto my neck and stuff like that. So she wanted a picture of that and I was like, oh my god, I'm home alone. Like I'm gonna have to take a picture by myself and it wasn't the best, but I tried. Anyway, I know the struggle of taking pictures of tattoos by yourself. Does anyone else struggle? Uh, it's hard. Anyway, talking about the tattoos. Um, okay, so I can see it with the kite. Like, it's okay, you know. We see what it is, it's not like a bad tattoo. We can see it's clouds, sky, a kite. So it's not a terrible tattoo, but then when we compare it to what it looks like now with the dragon cover up, oh, chef's kiss. That is such a good cover up. I love the colors in this. I love the saturation in this. I think this is the cutest cover up ever. And the artist has done such a good job as well to cover up that tattoo that was there beforehand just by using solid colors with the green and the black that has really helped hide most of it like you would i wouldn't know this is a cover-up without a doubt i cannot see i don't know if you're gonna be able to see but i've zoomed right in on this and i cannot see the old tattoo at all so the artist has done a smashing job with that that is a glow up you have had a glow up there okay so i am literally just scrolling and just picking it random i definitely want to do more of these videos because like there's just so many whoa hannah oh my god your newest one is sick Okay, so this is from Hannah. She said, my first done on my ribs for my 18th birthday in May 2013. My most recent done the day before I moved country in February 2020. So I've got absolutely no problem, no qualms with her first tattoo. It's just, you know, script. Can't go wrong with script, quite honestly. But can we look at her newest tattoo? Can we have a look at her newest tattoo? Oh, this is just so me. Like, I love portraits like this that look so evil and demonic. And it's just, oh, it's so good. I love how it's got, like, this anime feel to it. But it's also got, like, neo-traditional feel to it. This is gorgeous. Absolutely. 10 out of 10. I'm just... I'm so proud of you guys when you come through with stuff like this. <laughs> yeah, and we've got another, oh my God, okay. You guys get the sickest portraits tattoos. So this is from, I'm gonna butcher your name, I'm so sorry. Ingvlid, Ingvlid, I'm sorry. Um, but she's got here an anchor behind her ear, which again, I don't see anything wrong with this tattoo at all. It was done in 2014. It's just, in my opinion, just a cool anchor tattoo behind the ear. But then when we look at her Stalin piece, it's like, holy fucking shit, look at that. So we got the, like, the double eyeballs, we've got all these like black coming through, we've got the snakes, like a proper, like this is a cool Medusa piece in my opinion. Like that is freaking gnarly. Oh my God, that's just insane. Wow, and like when you compare it to the first and then to like the newest, it's just like, the, again, like I was saying, there's nothing wrong with the first one, but it's just so different and the sizes are different. It's a lot more artistic, the newer one. I love it. I love it. You guys make me so proud. <laughs> oh, so we've also got another first tattoo and then the newest tattoo is a cover up and this is from Shannon, but she said, submitting my boyfriend's with his permission, first tattoo, and most recent, also a cover up. And this, again, is so freaking cool. How the tattoo artist managed to get the light colors over the dark tribal, I don't know, that takes skill in my opinion. Like, to cover up tribal, which is a very solid black tattoo, and then to make it lighter in some way, in my opinion, that takes pure skill. And the artist has done so, so well of covering that tribal. Congratulations on that glow up, honestly. Well done, well done, well done. Yeah, you guys, oh my God. You guys just make me wanna get tattooed like every single day, every time I see you guys post stuff. But this is from Rachel and she said, this is my first tattoo, which is the one obviously on the, the left, the left. She said, I got it in May of 2018. It's from the movie Castaway with Tom Hanks. Oh my God, I love that film so much. 
anyone else love that film cast away i can't really watch it because it makes me really sad but amazing tattoo but then the one next to it oh my god um she said and this is my newest and biggest one that i got two weeks ago for a tattoo battle and yes we won i'm so happy for you guys <laughs> for you and your tattoo artist that's amazing but oh my god look at the new one do we see those thick bold outlines do we see them Mm, juicy and then the saturation is it literally looks like this tattoo is on fire like i can feel the heat coming off of it i love it i love it it's amazing okay the next one is from Chantel. so the first one was done by a friend when i was 17 and then a hand over face emoji it's okay no judgments here we weren't gonna talk about like how stuff was done i just wanted to look at the comparison of first and last or latest um and then she said stern and peace was done in november last year i'm now 25 okay well we can see we've gone from a friend tattoo but it, i mean it, it definitely has meaning because it says the word nan there okay okay let's just talk about stern and peace all right let's just move on from that and look what i love the most is that this skull has that glowing greenness around like the highlighted points of where a skull would be so you know when you do like highlighter and makeup and stuff it's like on your cheekbones around your eyes and around this kind of area oh, mama! and i love the red glow from the eyes it just looks evil kind of reminds me of like a an evil skull that we'd maybe see in like a disney film or something like it's not very evil but it's like borderline evil you know but it's in a good way and then that creepy spider on the skull has a skull on its back <laughs> skull inception love it so much and then the cobwebs i would say the cobwebs are like very nice and feminine because you've got quite a heaviness with the skull but then like the cobwebs are kind of like lighter so it kind of like the skull is the main attraction and then the cobwebs kind of just finish off the whole situation i love that so so much oh my god amazing ah uh, this is what i find very interesting to see so this is from aurora and she said the first one was done in 2018 and then the second one was done in 2020 done by the same artist and i love to see this kind of thing where a person first of all gets a good first tattoo like well done proud of you i wish i had the same experience but like they've kept with the same theme the same artist so they haven't strayed from like one style to another they've got a theme going on they may go to other themes as years go by but for the most part like the first and the latest are the same kind of style color palette and i love that i love seeing i don't know i just everyone is so different when it comes to tattoos and this is what makes tattoos so great. Like we don't all have to have the same thing. Oh, so we've got another situation like I was just talking about before. And this is from Zoe. She said, my first tattoo on the left when I was 18 in April, 2018. Then my newest edition I got two weeks ago. So February, 2020. In my opinion, this is kind of like the same kind of style. So it's black work, it's feminine. We've got the flowers. Um, it's still what I would call like a heavy style. So it's not completely dainty, but it's still got that feminine touch to it because there is lighter areas within the tattoo, even though it's all black work. Again, gorgeous. And again, I wish I had this kind of experience with my first tattoo, um, but I love both of them. I love both of them. I love anatomical heart tattoos and I obviously love rose tattoos and I love dagger tattoos. Like these, oh, gorgeous. Ugh. So the next one I want to talk about is from D, and she said first one May 2018. Most recent ones I got in December. Um, so she's done two pictures, but I'm just going to talk about one because I feel like that's fair for everyone if I just do one from each person or whatever. Um, so with the first one, we've got a simple black work symbol here. Like I was saying, sometimes people do just start off small. And then the next one is this colorful bird and it is gorgeous. Absolutely freaking gorgeous. I love it. I just love the line work on this and I love how the feathers of the bird are just like flapping in the breeze. <laughs> I don't know what bird feathers do flap in the breeze. I don't know. <laughs> I need to eat. <laughs> yeah, again, in my opinion, like there's a different, there's so much difference in style here and it's i don't know i just find it so interesting like in my head when people start off small and then they get braver and braver and get bigger things more colorful things i love it it's like you can see someone like blossoming and coming into their own tattoo story I, it just makes me proud of you guys so much for just like branching out and stuff i don't know i may be reading into this too much but 
Oh, this is an interesting one. So this is from Sophie. She said first tattoo 2017 and latest tattoo. For the first one, I didn't do any research and just went to any old person. The line work isn't great and a bit messy. Now I go to a different artist over and over that I absolutely love. Now, in my opinion, she says it's like a bit messy and stuff, but I, I like it. Like I like that, you know, Disney wrist tattoo and she is clearly a massive Disney fan because like her newest tattoo is of Winnie the Pooh and it's so freaking cute <laughs> but again you can see such a different style within both tattoos so we've gone for like the simple black work and then her like newest one and we can see also that she's got other ones surrounding her newest one that are also in color but we've got like a little bit of sparkle magical watercolor situations going on here we've got the cutest pooh bear of all time and the little balloons as well and there's a little mickey mouse one in there as well i just think it's adorable and it also fits in very nicely with that gap so i guess the tattoo artist is properly drawn this for her to fit it in that gap which makes it even more special in my opinion like it's fully custom drawn here just for her I love it and again love seeing the contrast oh my god the comment after Woo! oh my god oh my god okay I know I said I was only gonna let one person have one collage thing to make it fair but like okay you'll see why but she said P.S. I know you'll love this one Sophie I do look at it Nightmare Before Christmas oh I love Nightmare Before Christmas so freaking much. Look at it, that is adorable. And it's even got the Mickey pumpkin. <laughs> and it's got zero. Yo, 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 yo. Oh my God. Courtney, 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 Courtney. First tattoo that she got about 13 years ago. And then her last tattoo or the newest tattoo she got in July. Wow. <laughs> wow, just oh the difference and contrast between one another is nuts it's nuts so she's got a musical note as her first tattoo it looks like it's on her wrist which is normally a good place to start with a first tattoo and then she got this massive zombie piece it's just so beautiful <laughs> That is honestly just stunning. I absolutely love the style of this. The highlight in this tattoo is amazing. It's proper shining through. The zombie looks like it's decrepit and deteriorating and with the teeth and the missing like skin on the jaw. And we've got like a little gravestone there with a little raven and the moon. And I love how there's like negative space swirling around it. Oh my God. I just... This is what I'm talking about. People coming to themselves. They start off with a small tattoo sometimes and then they'll just get to the point where they're like, fuck it, big ass zombie tattoo. Why? Who knows? But we love it and we like it. I just love it. Oh. And that's not to take away from the people that start off big as well. I see you, boo. I see all of you starting off big and getting amazing tattoos as well. And I'm even more proud of you guys for doing research and stuff like that and just going all out. But I'm like with the crew that is like, with the small tattoos first and then just being like, fuck it, let's black out my arm because why not? <laughs> you know, like, ah, oh, just everyone is so different and this is what I love talking about. I wanna carry on doing this, but I don't wanna keep these videos too, too long because I definitely wanna do more parts in the future. I'm gonna keep this post open. So if you search in the Facebook group, if you're a part of it, um, this is honestly, I know some people are like, oh, can I email you? Can I message you mine? And honestly, it is just easier for me on the Facebook group, it keeps everyone's posts there and I can always go back and visit it and scroll through and stuff instead of scrolling through messages and emails and forgetting names and stuff. It's just so much easier if it's all there. So I do apologize to the people that don't have Facebook or don't want to join the group and they want to send stuff. It's just honestly easier for me to do it this way. Um, but you should be able to find the post very easily within the Facebook group. But yeah, I just want to say thank you to everyone that had submitted a, um, picture or pictures but yeah until my next video i hope you guys are all doing very very well and yeah okay i don't know what i'm doing bye <laughs>